It began as a peaceful demonstration, but soon degenerated into a riot when students wearing balaclavas began throwing rocks at police, who in turn fired tear gas to disperse them. The government has accused Colombia's FARC rebels of infiltrating the protests and instigating the violence. Let it be clear that these protesters are not little doves. What we have here are criminal gangs in the service of the dark interests of the FARC terrorists. President Juan Manuel Santos has been unable to put an end to the protests which have united potato, corn and milk producers. The country's farmers are struggling as their income no longer covers the rising costs of fertilisers and transportation. The president has acknowledged that the agricultural sector is in crisis, but has called for peaceful dissent. Let's not fall into the hands of the violent. Let's not allow them to gain strength from these protests, because it will distort the entire meaning of the demonstration, and it leads to unnecessary confrontations that have led to deaths. The government has announced some measures to ease the pressure on the sector, but farmers have so far rejected the offer. For now, it seems likely the protests will continue. Johanna McCohen, ABC News.